In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the Mobile Expense Management module to enter, update, and submit expense reports. These features can be used by employees to manage their expense reports using their mobile device from anywhere they have service. Imagine how quickly an expense report can be processed if the expense can be entered at the time it is incurred, rather than having to wait several days to have access to the web applications. I'll be using an iPhone for today's demonstration, but remember you can also use BlackBerry and Android devices as well as the iPad. So let's get started. As you can see, I have added the expense management icon to my iPhone's desktop, so all I need to do is tap on it to get started. This is the user authentication screen for our mobile apps. You just need to type in your standard JD Edwards user ID and password. And of course, if you make a mistake, you can also correct it. When you're done, you press the login button. This is the expense management home screen. Um, as you can see, it's got your three expense management options as well as a nice pie chart. This pie chart displays my active reports since I signed on as a non-approver. If I had been an approver, the pie chart would have shown a graph of my employees' expense reports. So to add an expense report, just tap the Add Edit Expense Report menu item. This next screen it would normally be a list of any of your active expense reports. I don't have any, so I'm just going to press the Add button and fill in my header information about my expense. There are drop-down menus where necessary, so for report type, I need to select Travel and Entertainment, and it brings it in. Go ahead and put your report date in, and your purpose. I didn't have an advance or an override manager, so my header is filled in. I did have credit card expenses for this particular expense, so I press the Add Credit Card Expense button, and it's going to go find all of my credit card expenses. So the one for this was actually the Marriott. So I select it, and I press Done, and that brings it forward into my expense report. So I just need to put any additional information in. As you notice, since this is a hotel expense, it will pick up the configuration within Enterprise One and pull it forward into this. So I was in San Francisco, so I select that. It was paid with that. I'm going to charge it to a business unit in Business Unit One. And here's my additional information regarding the hotel expense from the category. So this was a Marriott. So you can select that and bring it forward. It was only there for one night. And it was in San Francisco. I don't need to put a comment in. So now I press the Save button and it gets added as a detail line. Oh, you notice I have a warning. It's a big expense, $202.50 above, above the limit. But that's what I spent, so I'm going to go ahead and press the Save button so that it'll be added. And it brings me back to the main screen, and here's my one line that I've added so far. So I went out to lunch, and I need to get that charged. So I'm going to go ahead and just press the Add button, since it was not a credit card expense. And I'm going to select Meals. You can either type it in and have it try, or you can move through the list. I'm going to select Meals. It was in San Francisco. I actually paid with cash. I'm going to charge it to business unit one, and I spent $25.15 on my lunch. 
So there's my meal expense. I'm going to press the Save button again. So now I'm done with my report. It's got everything on there that I want. So I've, I've reviewed it. looks good. So now I want to submit it. To submit it, I just press the Submit Report button and tap Submit again to confirm that I'm ready to go takes me back to my list of reports. Since I automatically submitted that, it doesn't show up. If I had just saved it and not submitted, you would have seen this in my list. So when I go back to my home screen, you'll now see that my graph has changed to include my new report in approver status. You may have noticed you didn't see any back buttons on our screens. Instead, the buttons will be labeled with where you're going to go, whether it be to your reports list or to your home screen, which is very nice. So as you can see from this demo, it's very simple to use this new functionality. So be sure to view the additional video available on the functionality for approving and rejecting expense reports. I hope you're just as excited about this new functionality as we are. Thank you.